keep everything fun, lighthearted, interesting, because I have ADD, but I want to teach. So here's real life situations. Here's Ben Johns and Simone Hardin. And I hope I said that right. But why are they stacking? They're not stacking because Simone can't hit the third shot in the kitchen every time. Simone has a very good drive. They're stacking because Ben John wants to control the middle. He is the best in the world at controlling middle. Simone's covering the line. Here's all different ways to stack. There you saw Adam Stone served. Simone returned, but Ben John was on the sideline. Here's another way. Obviously, everyone knows this way. But, guys, there's tons of ways to stack. There's a number of reasons. That's why I'm doing this video next. A lot of people know this. If you have a better drive, and that doesn't mean I have a better drive than Carrie. Carrie played college tennis at Butler. She has a mean forehand. She has an awesome drive. This just means at this point in this match, I had the momentum. You play to your strengths, people. It's nothing personal, you know? It's not you, it's me. I've heard that a lot throughout my life. Next. So this is from the Clear One Invitational. Johnny Goldberg serving, he's a pro. His partner has lost confidence. They're switching it up, they're getting him off the forehand middle. And look, they switch sides, he wins a point, he gets some confidence. Again, this is a different way to stack, everyone knows it. That way Johnny gets a nice drop, takes the pressure off his partner, gets into the net. So to summarize, do this. If partner has lost confidence, either dinking forehand middle, that missing a lot of backhand dinks towards the sideline, switch it up. It's nothing personal, like I said. Pickleball's game of runs. Change the momentum, change strategy. Don't be afraid, you know? I will be your light next. John, my uncle, you're right about one thing and Family Feud would have got one out of five and not made the finals. We have Jan Crowd in the top left-hand corner. She's a very good tournament player, left-handed, obviously. And we have Jonathan Jorge. Now Jonathan Jorge is in the top left-hand corner. So they won the last point pretty easily. And now they have two backhands in the middle. So it's a very awkward. They should have stacked here. So this is a good example. Again, this is rec play, but in a tournament, they would stack. Jonathan's very smart. Jan is a very good tournament player. You play to your strengths next. Now this is a little counterintuitive. If your partner has a better backhand block, and when I say better, I mean better reaction times at the backhand block down the middle. And this is assuming both you and your partner, you know, can backhand dink. Dinks are the same. Basically, I'm saying if you and your partner are the same skill level, you know, all things being the same, you want the person with the better reaction times covering the backhand middle let me bring up a point to illustrate it. This is Colin Johns and his brother. Obviously, everyone knows his brother, Ben Johns. But Ben gets pretty upset with Colin this match. I actually end up losing it. We have that game on the channel, by the way. No one else does. But obviously, Ben Johns is better than his brother at covering forehand middle. So they wouldn't switch. But I'm just saying, if they were the same, I'd want Ben Johns covering backhand middle again Colin Johns gets taken advantage of right there there's a number of here's another point um, where Deco bar is just really going at Colin Johns's backhand middle and again here's slow motion I zoomed in a little but Deco bar that reaction times on that backhand middle guys I can't stress enough how important it is to have a partner that can cover that backhand middle with a really fast quick block if I missed anything, please leave it in comments and I'm happy to make more videos. Have a good day, you know? Live your life.